The secret of the US Iron Dome capabilities to shoot down enemies short range rockets. In use since 2011, the Iron Dome, which is designed to shoot down short-range rockets, is an integral component of Israel's multi-layered defense array. Does the US have an Iron Dome defense system? This allowed for the deployment of the first two Iron Dome systems. Subsequently, funding for an additional eight Iron Dome systems, along with funding for a supply of interception missiles, is currently being provided by the United States, with two of these additional systems having been delivered by 2012. In 2005, Brig. General. Danny Gold, then head of MAFA, decided to start the program that would include the system's research and a demonstration of the intercepting system. 14, 15, in 2007, Israel commissioned the development of Iron Dome, choosing Israeli contractor Rafael over the American giant Lockheed Martin. Israeli company M. Prest Systems was put in charge of programming the core of Iron Dome's battle management system. Iron Dome went from the drawing board to combat readiness within less than four years, a remarkably short period of time for a weapon system designed from scratch, according to military experts. Iron Dome is an autonomous guidance and control system capable of intercepting specific targets which represent a high-priority threat according to the system configuration. It is known to be more effective than the earlier systems like the Patriot. The Arrow 2 and Arrow 3 systems intercept ballistic missiles outside of the Earth's atmosphere while David's Sling Missile Defense System is designed to intercept tactical ballistic missiles and medium to long-range rockets, as well as cruise missiles fired from ranges of 40 to 300 kilometers. Though the US military was considering purchasing additional batteries shortly after it successfully carried out its first live fire test of the system in August at White Sands Missile Range in New Mexico, the Army decided against the Israeli-made system for its enduring system to counter aerial threats. Instead, the U.S. Army chose the Lado's own Dynetics following a shoot-off between the two systems. The system produced by Dynetics, called Enduring Shield, has 360-degree detection and the ability to fire at multiple threats simultaneously. The system is simple to operate and can be fully integrated with the Army's Integrated Air and Missile Defense Battle Command System. The Iron Dome defense system has been upgraded to be able to deliver the capability to simultaneously shoot down multiple complex threats such as rockets, unmanned aerial vehicles, and missile salvos. Iron Dome is composed of three fundamental elements, a detection and tracking radar, a battle management and weapon control system, BMC, and a missile firing unit, MFU. The radar system has been developed by Israeli defense company ELTA. The control system has been built by an Israeli software company M. Press Systems, engaged by Rafael. The missile launched by the MFU of Iron Dome included Tamir interceptor missiles. It has several steering fins for high maneuverability and is equipped with electro-optic sensors. The missile system has day and night and all-weather capability, quick reaction time, and salvo interception capability. It can also adapt to rapidly evolving threats and handle multiple threats and handle multiple threats at the same time. Other features of the Iron Dome include a vertical launch interceptor, warhead and proximity fuse, mobile launcher, and compatibility with various radar and detection systems. The system's special warhead allows it to detonate any target in the air. After detecting and identifying the rocket, Iron Dome radar monitors its path. Based on the radar's information, the system's BMC analyzes the path of the threat and calculates an anticipated point of impact. If the calculated path of the incoming rocket poses a real threat, a command is run to launch an interceptor against the threat. The incoming rocket is detonated over a neutral area. On September 24, the Army announced it had awarded U.S. defense firm Dynetics a $237 million contract to build prototypes of its Enduring Shield short-range air defense system designed to protect U.S. bases from surface-skimming cruise missiles and larger drones. Huntsville, Alabama-based Dynetics, which is owned by Lado's LDOS-2%, will deliver 16 prototype launchers and 60 heat-seeking AIM-9X Sidewinder interceptors by March 2024 for testing, 
with 12 of the former due late 2023. If evaluations are satisfactory, that could lead to full-scale procurement of around 400 launchers and thousands of missiles.